Hello, boys and girls. The purpose of this lesson is to continue our discussion on absolute value. If you did not watch the previous lesson, please go back and watch the two videos that I attached yesterday. It is called Absolute Value Lesson 1. This is Absolute Value Lesson 2. I'm going to share with you our textbook. You don't need to open this page, but if you're curious, it is page 223. Okay, we're going to come across this page a little later in the year. However, I wanna share these concepts with you now. I just wanted to spend two days, two short lessons on it. Take a look at this number line. We wanna use this number line. I want you to notice that here's zero and zero is neither positive nor negative. There it is. Notice there's positive numbers that we are very familiar with. If we go to the right, they're positive. If we go to the left, they're negative. Look at, for example, right here where it shows six. So it is six on the number line. How far is it from zero? It is six units away. So its absolute value is six. I want you to also look at negative six on the left side. Notice how far from zero it is. It is also six units from, from zero. So its absolute value is also six. Let's take a look at the definition over here. The absolute value of an integer is its distance from zero. Distance from zero is what we want here. Don't worry so much about integer. We're gonna come across that in the next month or so. Absolute value is the distance from zero. Distance is always positive. So here's what we just did on that number line. The absolute value of six would be written like this. Look at that new symbol right there. There it is. That is the absolute value symbol. It has two lines with our value in the center. So its absolute value is six. Notice that when we use the number line, here's the absolute value of negative six. And it was also six units from zero. So its absolute value is also six. Let's take a look at that again. I'm going to share my journal with you. See if I can locate it. There it is. Okay, so here's what we just said. Let us summarize this. Again, boys and girls, we'll come across this and spend more time in about a month. I think this is a value to know, for you to know this now. You might need it here in class. You might need it for an Illuminate test. You will definitely need it for the state test. Absolute value. Absolute value is the distance from zero, simple. Remember that distance is always positive. The symbol for absolute value may appear like this. Look at that. So you have a negative six with these two lines on the outside. This absolute value, you know that this is six units from zero. So it's absolute value is six. Look at this one. The absolute value of 27. Its absolute value is 27. Notice that distance is always positive. Over here, the absolute value of negative eight is eight. So if I were to put these on the number line, let's take the, the six. The absolute value of negative six. I don't know, is it about right here? Does that appear to be negative six? Negative six would be about right there. How far is it from zero? It is six. It is six units from zero. That's why its absolute value is six. Let's do another one. If I were to take right here, the absolute value of 27, I don't know, what do you think about right here? 
there's 27, okay? How far, how many units is this from zero? I could go like this again. It is 27 units from zero. So its absolute value is 27. I wanna take a look at it again, a different way. Notice that number lines can run this way. So if I had this number here, I have six here and I have four there. Notice that this one is six units. Oops. This is six units from zero. How far is this one from zero? This one is four units from zero. Even though this one is a negative number, this one is a positive number. It's total distance apart, it's 10 units apart. Simple, right? 10 units apart. Let's take a look at another one. So if I had this one here, let's go with negative 20 and positive 20. How far apart are they? They're 40. Those are 40 units apart because this absolute value right here is 20. And the absolute value over here is another 20. So they're 20 units apart. Okay, so you know number lines can run that way. They can also run this way. Okay. So how about a question like this? Let's say I had right here, I'm right here. Let's say it's a thermometer. It's 10 degrees. It's 10 degrees. What is five degrees cooler than that? What is five degrees cooler than that? that? This is a different question, isn't it? If it's five degrees cooler, wouldn't you be here? Correct. So that absolute value dropped five. How about another one? What if it is zero degrees and it's dropped 15 degrees? Now what temperature is it? That's right right there. How about this one? I need you paying attention. This one's easy too. Let's say in Los Angeles, let's use this number line here. In Los Angeles, it is 80 degrees. 80 degrees in Los Angeles. In Detroit, it's in the winter. In Detroit, it is minus 20. How much warmer is it in Los Angeles compared to Detroit? How much warmer is it here than here? That's right. It is 100 degrees because its absolute value over here, the distance from zero, you would have 80 there and you'd have another 20 there. So Los Angeles is 100 degrees warmer than Detroit, or Detroit is 100 degrees cooler. Let's do one more. How about, let's use the same number line. I'm going to make this a little messy here. Let's say Alaska. Alaska. How about right here? Alaska. is minus six. Does that look like minus six? And in Oregon, it is 60. How much colder is it in Alaska? How much colder? Oops, that is 60. How much colder is it in Alaska compared to Oregon? It is 66 degrees colder. Send me your questions. I want to spend just a few minutes on this. We will come across and spend more time on integers that we didn't spend any time yet. We will also 
spend more time on absolute value. I just want to give you a preview ahead of time. See you in class, boys and girls. Did it stop? Oh, here we go.